I wanted to cover something really interesting on this uh, uh, Crestron MC3 that I found over a long period of time, and it also applies to other Crestron devices that use this same evil ATP branded micro SD card. I believe all of these have failed. Um, it's just a matter of time, and what happens is they kind of fail, they do fail in the same way. You can't write to them. It's like the write line just no longer works. You can read from them, though, and a lot of people may not realize that. So if you have a system that's using um, one of these uh, micro SD cards in it, and it's bricked itself, so it does the typical MC3 problem of, you know, it's, it's just, it's, you can't, you hook to it to a USB, and the USB, you can't get it to talk or anything, it's just dead, even though the power light comes on. Um, that's because the micro SD card can no longer be written to, and so it just stops booting and becomes a brick. Um, that's actually really easy to get around, believe it or not. So what you do is you pull the card out, um, well, I should explain. So you, you, you take out the you take out the board, and that's actually pretty easy. You take the pins, you take the screws off the back, um, get the plate off, um, and then the board slides out. Oh well, there's screws on the bottom, and then the board slides out. So then what you do is um, there's a couple of screws here, a couple of plastic screws here that hold this board down. You undo those. This comes out and your micro SD card is below that. So then you just slide it out, take it out, um, and you use special software um, to read it. So what you then do, let me get the software up here. So then what you do is you use this software and um, you put it, you do this, pretty simple, um, and you, you name it, whatever you're gonna, whatever file you wanna keep it, um, and that's the drive where it's plugged into your machine. You have to use a PC. You then read it, so you read the bad card. It does read. The data is still there, all your files are there, your program's there, everything's still there. Um, then what you do is you put in the new uh, card, which I recommend the Swiss bit cards. You need a two gigabyte and you need a very specific card um, with the right write timings and a bunch of stuff. Industrial card. They're expensive. Um, and then what you do is you then write it. You pull it out. You pop it back in and you're good. Um, so you've recovered the data and the files um, and it's happily going to purr along. So um, this may also apply to some other devices um, like the TSW panels. I don't really know. I haven't tried those. But I do understand that that also works in all of that stuff too. So anyway, I just don't think many people realize that the, the problem is recoverable. You can actually pull the files off it and, um, and recover completely from it. So anyway, so that's how to do it.